Mr. President, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to first express my appreciation to President Rahman and the government of the Republic of Tajikistan, as well as for the organizations that supported this, for organizing this conference and for their warm hospitality. This conference is occurring against the backdrop of growing concerns about water-related disasters and development setbacks in Central Asia. Water resources are of critical economic and environmental importance in Central Asia, and I will not need to elaborate on this issue, as President Rachman has just made a very compelling case. Unfortunately, a severe drought is now unfolding in the region after the coldest winter in 25 years. Central Asia's rivers and streams are running low or are altogether dry at the time of year when they should be flowing strongly. Crops and livestock herds that were damaged by winter frost and snow are now parched by drought, further boosting the demands on Central Asia's overburdened water table. The specter of water shortfalls, both for summer irrigation in 2008 and winter heating and hydroelectricity in 2009, is beginning to stare us in the face. Longer term, the melting of Central Asia's glaciers seems to be accelerating due to global warming. While faster melt may increase water flow today, smaller glaciers in the future mean less natural water storage over the longer term. The winter of 2008, when large parts of Tajikistan went without electricity because water levels were too low to turn the turbines of the Nurek hydropower station, could be the sign of things to come. In the future, therefore, both energy and food security in Central Asia will be increasingly linked to more sustainable use of the region's water resources. The rapid increase in food prices now being reported in the world and especially across Central Asia are at the heart of the region's accelerating inflation rates, uh, increasingly uncertain growth prospects and, is, uh, and beginning to exacerbate poverty. UNICEF points out that they have observed the recent rapid growth in numbers of children living in institution settings and they associate this with the growing food prices. For the rural poor, who constitute the bulk of Central Asia's impoverished population, development without access to reliable water sources for farming and household use is simply unthinkable. Sustainable water use has both regional and national dimensions. The transboundary nature of Central Asia's water resources obviously requires regional cooperation the intricacies of which have been the sources of great concern and more than occasional disappointment. However, effective answers to regional water problems can only be built on successful national and local water, lo and local water management initiatives. The absence of regional solutions to the ROC tra tragedy has not kept the government of Kazakhstan from rescuing the northern part of the sea where water levels and fish stocks are rising. Uzbekistan's welfare improvement strategy rightly emphasizes the importance of reducing unsustainable water use and moving away from the cotton monolith. With United Nations support, Tajikistan and the Kyrgyz Republic are increasingly applying the principles of integrated water resources, resource management in their national policy context as well. More efficient local water management for irrigation, power generation, and household and industrial uses can go a long way. The focus of my visit has been on discussing how the international community and the government have to coordinate and can coordinate better 
this response so that at the same time we are building a long-lasting capacity of Tajikistan to manage its water in an integrated manner, to find ways to show the effectiveness of the assistance it receives. Reha? Reha? Спасибо.